Boston faces a host of challenges related to climate resilience um, and adaptation. At BAR in particular, we have a focus on ensuring that communities that have been impacted the worst by the fossil fuel economy actually benefit from policies and changes that will happen. The PRC Mass um, Project is a localized version of ISC's flagship program, the Partnership for Resilient Communities. One of the things that was very beneficial with leveraging the relationships and the network of ISC and the PRC program, these organizations that are based in Massachusetts we're connected with other organizations that are across the U.S. and those organizations are working on projects that are very similar. The struggles that one community may experience here in Massachusetts may be very different from another, or, um, another city, but there's still a lot of knowledge and lessons learned that can come from someone working on similar projects. We use the Partnership for Resilient Communities in Massachusetts program to help us support our green infrastructure program. Our green infrastructure program is a workforce development program that trains residents unemployed and underemployed with a specific focus of men of color and reentry citizens in our neighborhood to get certified in green infrastructure. We haven't done climate resilience programming. This is very new to us. So, you know, how do we learn more? Like, what does it mean to effectively bring in community? Trying to sort of flip the framework a little bit, knowing that we didn't need to have all the answers, but with the right sort of intentions and the right support and technical assistance along the way, I think we're able to just really get going and be okay with taking that risk of not answering all the questions all at once. One key takeaway that has come out of the partnership um, with PRC Massachusetts is clarification of like, uh, we really need to do community assessments rather than having just like providing a, a broad toolkit of, you know, here's generally what people need in order to respond to extreme weather events. We need to have a more personalized assessment. One of the most beneficial opportunities to come out of this was to connect with our mentor. So we connected with an organization in Ohio called Groundworks Ohio River Valley and Partnering with them and learning from them, uh, an organization who has a program similar to ours but it's much more mature, has been really invaluable. They have given us ideas and I think also just walking with us in solidarity, working with them. We haven't learned that they have the answer or a silver bullet, but they've given us ideas and camaraderie in knowing that there's someone else doing this work. Yeah.